So it's banker porn day, really. And what that means is that Goldman Sachs came out with his results, which everybody wants to look at. And even deeper than that, so to speak, is Goldman's compensation, which everyone wants to look at. And Anthony, you've been surfing the yep. porn quite a lot today. So why don't you tell very us? Very nice what, way what, of putting it. Thanks. I hope my mother's seen. watching this show. <laughs> so what do we what do we see? Goldman brought. Uh, comp down, but uh, they did. Yeah, they they uh, they've they been at about a 44 percent rate for the first nine months of last year, and they dropped it to about I think 36 percent last quarter, which surprised some analysts. They weren't expecting it to be that low. So we all think, isn't that great? Goldman's a well his comp, but actually overall for the year it's 42 percent. Now compare that to J.P. Morgan put together out their investment bank and their asset management firm. So the blend is kind of what we've got at Goldman. Right. They're running at about 36 percent for last year. Right. And, and ultimately, that's, that's $12 billion, right? 12, for, for Goldman, Goldman paid Goldman out $12, $12 billion, billion dollars last year. So if you apply JP Morgan's rate, you're going to be cutting their pay by about 20%. But that 20% would boost shareholders' returns last year by about 50%. So what, what was the shareholder return last year? I forget. Oh, 3.7% return on equity. Right. So this is the age old problem. The shareholders don't notice so much when things are going really well. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, in good times and bad times alike, the staff, the bankers get a bigger chunk of the profit than the exactly. shareholders did. But it, as you say, sort of so in the good times when Goldman was ROE was 20, 25 percent, um, you know, shareholders were still making more than enough as yep. Goldman bankers were making more than this is about three hundred and what seventy five thousand dollars on average per, take, yeah. per banker and that where does that put them that that's certainly more than JP Morgan well JP Morgan it's hard to compare with the other city doesn't release the, the numbers of people who work at the investment right. bank and the comp figures and we haven't had say Morgan Stanley that's tomorrow right and uh, ultimately then you know the question is then that, that Goldman is cutting more costs still. Yeah, it's, it's trying to uh, get a few more non-comp costs out as well. I said this morning it was looking at 1.2 billion, now 1.4 billion, which is not a huge increase, but you know they're, they're trying. And that's all non-comp, so yes. that's not we're yeah, not expecting more layoffs. But ultimately, though, so then where, what exactly is the is the prescription here? I mean, if you're a Goldman shareholder, do you? I mean, how do you? How do you think about this going forward? Does Goldman well, is obviously, Goldman obviously gonna... quite a few of the bankers are shareholders. It's one of the one of the one of the better things about yeah. The investment. They own something um, about what around ten to fifteen percent of the something firm. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so should we expect to see more? Compensation cutting, or well, I think if the mar if markets continue like this, we probably will because the the more that people like, or banks like J P Morgan do trim that little bit extra, then the more pressure it puts on Goldman. It's no surprise that they did in fact drop their comp level last quarter, even though it's not as low as J P Morgan. So the pressure's there, and the more we see the markets not recovering, the more they're going to have to cut costs anyway and, and get. Is rid that of a headcount? Cost, that's or is as, it a, that's a, as much headcount as anything. Yeah. So, so is there is there a competitive threat here? I mean, you know, Mitt, Mitt Romney reckons money three hundred seventy five thousand dollars or thereabouts isn't mm -hmm. a lot of money. Can you get more if you leave Goldman, or is this a time when banks can afford to pay people less? Well, uh, you can get more if you leave Goldman if you're one of the best and hedge funds really want to get you. It's not as if many banks are going to be able right. to pay to get you. Now, sure, some of their traders might think we can go elsewhere, but you know, the European banks aren't hiring at the moment. The ones who would be to some and, extent, and they're, and they're usually the mugs, right? Uh, usually, <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, they have done a very good job of hiring far too many people at the wrong levels over the last yeah. few years. Um, hedge funds could still pick a few people off here and there, but you've got to think the hedge funds have, all, have already picked off uh, what they think are the, uh, most of the best people. Well, they're not having the easiest time either. Exactly. I mean, I guess ultimately the biggest question that still remains for Goldman is sort of what are they going to be? Where, what are they going to do, you know, amid this? What seems to be a more, um, you know, a seismic shift in the industry rather than some sort of cyclical change. Yeah. Um, and that, and that maybe that's part it of it. Is, it is tricky, but again, you go back to the compensation. Now, if you are very, very nice to them and you add back in the the money they paid to buy back Warren Buffett's preferred shares last year, and they reduce their um, comp to what J.P. Morgan was paying, then it gets their return on equity last year up to about seven and a half percent. Not a lot. But it's better than J.P. Morgan got in its investment bank last year, at least. So you, know, you, you would start pushing yourself towards right. the top of a admittedly very low heap at the moment. All right. All right. We'll leave it there, and we'll be back with uh, more breaking views tomorrow.